Well, good. You know, good evening, guys. I I want to do a product re review this evening. You know, in this video, I want us to take a look at you know a product that I had ordered. I had ordered a pH meter or some water quality test kit. And I can't wait to open it and to share what is in it with you. Uh, if it's the first time you're joining, please like what you're seeing and you know subscribe because I know that you will enjoy the content and it may be beneficial to you in you acquiring the same set of kit. I am an agriculturist so I practice agriculture and I have to do a lot of watering of my crops and sometimes the water quality isn't so wonderful. So in this video or in this review I want to show us one of the the kit that we can use to test all of the water. Again the description will be shown in the video. Again it may be shown in the description below. So all the specification will be there. So I can't wait to, to share that with you. I the kit should have four things. Four things it should be able to test the EC and EC it is the it is the electrical conductivity. A very technical word it's sort of you know some chemistry related and we want to look at that and we want to look at TDS which is total dissolved solids again all of those and we want to look at pH that one is very critical you know very very critical it deals with how acidic or alkaline the water is or the solution Sometimes we use water to water our crops and we're not even sure if it is the right water for the absorption of nutrients. So we want to do all of that. And temperature again, very, very crucial. So I want us to go through, you know, these as, these four things. So it is a nice, should be a nice little kit based on what I would have seen when I ordered it on Amazon. So, so this would have been maybe my first Amazon product review. And, you know. So the product is here and I can't wait to show you of it. That would have been the package received from one of my courier. I can't wait to open it and to show you what it is like. So there goes the package. You know, soon we'll open it. So there you would have seen the, the package, you know, that I would have got. You know, back to the, the things that this package or the test kit would have what they would call an EC and I did say EC refer to electrical conductivity basically it is the and and that is the ability of you know water to conduct electricity again it depends on what is in the water and that will allow it to conduct it well or poorly again the purer the water we would have you know a lower conductivity so we want to look at you know that so once we have salts or nutrients in the water as farmers or as agriculturists we would put fertilizer in the water and so on so once we have these in it then we are going to increase the number of positive ions or negative ions and this will allow uh, allow the, the the solution to conduct electricity better or poorly you know we have the negative ions and we have the positive ions so the negative ones would you know would work in conjunction with the positive ones right so that would have been the EC or electrical conductivity again we will also look at TDS which would have been the total dissolved solids and these solids could have been in the form of fertilizer so again they are going to affect the, the EC it also tell us how pure the water is Again, less solid, less conductivity, right? And with all of that, the temperature is very integral because the temperature will allow for either a faster rate of the reaction or better absorption of nutrients. It is also said that when the water is a little warmer, then the EC is going to be higher and also the, the rate of 
absorption. We're not talking about hot water, we're talking about warm water. And again, once the water is warm, then it's going to absorb more solids. So we're going to have dissolved solids again in that water and it is going to affect the electrical conductivity. But having said that, let us look at the package and we want to open it. So come with me, we are going to open the package at this point. Okay, so we are going to open the package. Again, I'm going to try and do it all by myself. So again, the courier there would have done some bit of opening. Let me just do the final part of it using one hand to try. Wow, there's a nice box inside here. Let me get the box out. Oh, there's a box. So it's secure. Let us open. Oh, easy to open. There goes a box. Wow. There are my little tools. So I'm going to take out first one says TDS and EC, right? Total dissolved solid and electrical conductivity. So that's the first one. Alright, let me take it out. Nice little case. Nice out. Again, there it is. There should be a little area down here. There it is. A little area down here that I can pull off. Again, there. Pull it off. Good. So I couldn't do my testing. Again, there should be some amount of charge there. So let me try it and see if I can get some figure on it. So let me press. Are we seeing anything? Press trying to turn it on. Wow, yes, there are numbers coming up. Can you see? Again, nice product. I think the ergonomics is good. You would put that in the solution and you press hold. And you would press hold there. Again, you can shift from one to the other. To see how well we can say in about 270 let us shift are we seeing that would have been the EC some micro move per centimeter when we shift to the other one it gives us ppm which would have been parts per million and that would have been the total dissolve solids all right so that seems well and based on the specification they are ready to use right so first one is good let us look at the second one now so heading back to the box this one should be the one that has a ph and this is i think my, my main one so again we should be able to can test all different water wow I like how it looks. There's a little grip there, like it can be stuck in the packet like a pen. There it is. It can be stuck in the pocket like a pen. Use. Again, there we have it on and off, and you are, I'll have to do some calibrating. So, this is a pH meter, and it does quick tests. Again, let me take off that cap. Wow, and then you can see part of that electrode. There. Electrode is there. Right in between where we have that little area there, the electrode that is where you would insert in the solution. Very good ergonomics. I think the design are really good. Let me check and see if we can get it on wow that's wonderful here we have some reading 
reading so when we ins calibrate and insert we'll get some better reading there's running all over the place the good thing it comes with battery and the batteries are in and it is easy to use based on the specification or the description again i will post some of that maybe i'll slide it in the video and we can have a look so there we go ph meter Have continuous reading there on the case and we have EC with the EC EC we have total these are solids we have the emulsifier concentrate and also with the EC and the TDS they have the temperature assigned so maybe that is why they call it a four in one so we have the pH meter we have the EC meter and the TDS meter with the temperature. Again, we have the caps to protect the electrodes. I think this is a wonderful buy. Again, the price would have been very minimal and I'll show you that too. And you can get many different types. Again, the brand is not the important thing once you can do the work. And you can always find these on whichever site you do your shopping on but i tend to use amazon and again i tend to get some good products yes again cost would could be a factor but i tend to get some very good product again thank you for for being in this review or watching this review again tell me how you feel tell me how was the review make sure you drop a note you provide a feedback and remember more reviews are coming so like the review and if you are new again, ensure that you subscribe. Again, it is Malachi Perspective on the channel, Malachi M.